Welcome back. Practical Tutorial 17, Competency 17, Transmitter Power, Measurement and Adjustment. Let's have a read of the competency number 17, Transmitter Power, Measurement and Adjustment. The method, demonstrate the measurement of output power of a transmitter. Adjust the transmitter power to within legal limits. This may be done using an amateur radio station connected to a dummy load. No modulating sources other than voice are required. No modulation depth monitoring is required. Estimation of the power only is required. No complex peak envelope power measurements. Estimate made using a commercial power measuring device. The power meter should preferably be an external instrument. This measurement should be done on single sideband and frequency modulation. And the performance criteria on the last column. The candidate demonstrates the ability to make simple power measurements and adjustment using a commercial watt meter. Let's talk about power measurement. This slide is of an IC706 transceiver. It's capable of transmitting on VHF, UHF and HF. Now on VHF and UHF, on um, FM, there is no power knob or control on any radios. You have to go into the menu system and you need to know the menu system in order to do that. So it would be very unfair for an assessor to give you a VHF or UHF radio that you've never seen the menu system of before and ask you to go in and adjust the power because that's how you do it. And on some transceivers it's got high, low and medium power. On others you can actually set the number of watts on FM by going into the menu system and then into power and then adjusting the, either a button or, or a rotating knob to the power that you want to transmit on. So it's pretty simple on FM. On single sideband it's a little bit more different. On single sideband we can measure the power output and adjust the power output by using the microphone gain control and the microphone gain on this transceiver is there. So on every SSB transceiver it's the microphone gain that controls the power output on sideband. If you turn the microphone gain up higher you're going to transmit more power. If you turn it all the way down you won't transmit any power at all. So you need to transmit and use the microphone gain control. Now that can be done into a dummy load or it can be done into the antenna. If we're going to go into an antenna we would need to connect the transceiver to an SWR power meter. This meter measures both SWR and power and then probably to an antenna tuner and the antenna tuner would go to our antenna. Or you could pl put a dummy load in the position of the antenna tuner and most, uh, most antenna tuners actually have a dummy load in them so you can switch a dummy load in. So what do we do? If we're going to do it on air then we're going to have to do competency 10. We're going to have to listen to a frequency that we're allowed to transmit on and we're going to have to ask is this frequency in use a couple of times. If it's not in use you then announce your call sign this is VK4FABC testing and you can then count and while you're counting you would adjust the microphone gain control and look at the watt meter on this meter wattage is measured on this scale that's your forward power is measured on that scale your reflected power is measured on this scale, this scale and where they cross is your SWR I'm going to talk to you more about the cross needle SWR meter later or very soon actually so 
you would have your transceiver connected to a watt meter, connected to an antenna tuner or antenna or a dummy load. If it was connected to a dummy load, you wouldn't have to use your call sign. You just transmit and adjust your microphone gain for the power that you want on the watt meter on the left hand scale. If you're going into an antenna, you're going to have to do competency 10. This is VK4FABC, is this frequency in use? Then make a test transmission, VK4FABC, testing, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, count as long as you like and adjust your microphone gain control until you get the correct power level on your commercial watt meter. It's not that particularly hard. That's all you need to do. If you don't know where the microphone gain control is on the radio, ask the assessor because that's the power control on an SSB radio. That's it for competency number 17.